Hey everybody, it's me, Cassie. I thought I'd give you a little tour of the the backyard of my house because Nelson's Nelson's begging to go out on an adventure. Is it your adventure time, big guy? Okay. Let's go out for a little bit. Here we go. Gotta call off the doormat. Okay, watch your tail. Watch your tail. Oh, there he goes, and he's off. It's pretty bright out here. I don't know if you can see. So, <laughs> this is the backyard. This is the garage with its original barn doors. This is the backyard. We have this huge backyard here. Nelson's the only one that gets to go out. Because the others, I'm afraid, would run away. Big guy, you want to go out on the grass? Come on, let's show them the rest of the yard, huh? Come on. It's pretty bright out here right now. Garage. Oh, the birds have found him. Yeah, the birds. The birds don't like it when Nelson's out here. What is that? Is that your bird friends? Yeah? So we've got this big backyard. There's this shed. Let me back up a little. There's two sheds in the backyard, which you can probably see now, yes. And um, I'm actually going to take those down. They're, this one in front's a pretty nice shed, but it's blocking the view. Totally blocking the view. So. This is the rest of the backyard. Got these uh, this beautiful lime tree, which is just you've seen this before in my photographs, just loaded with limes right now. It's also blooming. The bees love it. Lots of lime, and then bougainvillea lining the whole back wall here, which is lovely. This is the older of the two sheds, also going to come down. The rest of this area is just open grass, which is expensive to maintain. You know, it uses so much water. This is looking back at the house. So I eventually I want to take the grass out and put in some sustainable plants, maybe like native, thinking native California plants. Okay, let's see where Nelson is. He likes to, you know, the backyard is not big enough for him. He likes to try and get out. What are you doing, big guy? What are you doing? Come on. Yeah. I don't think the birds like you out here. No, they don't. All right, we're heading out to the back. Let's show them the blackberry vine, huh? So back in the back here, uh, oh, there's one of the birds, along with the bougainvillea, which is beautiful, we have a blackberry vine that has appeared. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm training it along the fence, hoping to have blackberries maybe later this summer. And over on this side of the yard, my neighbor over here is um, a church. I think it's called Chattacoy Church. Churches make good neighbors, huh? They're quiet. We get uh, rock music, which you've maybe heard at the Cristo La Roca service on Sunday afternoons, which I, I love. They've got these beautiful blooming orange and purple plants that when you look at that from the other side, that's the sanctuary right there, and they have a big window, and when you look through that window to the outside, it's just all purple and orange. It's really gorgeous. We have a little bit of a mountain view over here, peeking through the palm trees. Really pretty today with the clouds. It's just a beautiful day. And then a little bit of a, well, you really can't see the mountains. 
so well over on that side, but a little bit of a mountain view over there too. Oh, butterflies. Got butterflies flying through the yard. It's really pretty up here. Let's walk back to the house. I'll show you the so-called patio. This is the back of the house where there's there's no windows looking into the backyard, so I want to open that up and I want to put in a screened-in porch over here where this gazebo is, and then a deck coming off the other bedroom. We've got these really tall cypress trees which I don't know. Those, those get pretty big. They're going to need some trimming. Nelson? What's up, big guy? Yeah? Okay. And, uh, what else do I have to show you? These are the plants I brought. Some of the plants that I, I brought from my old house that I'm, I'm nurturing along. These orchids and uh, some of the scented geraniums and, of course, catnip over here that I'm going to put in the yard eventually. I have a, a carport for the car now, which is nice, keeps it clean, and the garage is a little bit of a disaster area because all of my studio stuff is in there. I'm going to put the studio uh, out back behind the sheds in the back of the yard uh, as soon as I can find a contractor to do that. Okay, Nelson's headed to the side of the house. This is where he likes to go to try and escape. Alright, big guy. Should we sign off? Alright, everybody. Miss you. I'm thinking about you. I love you. Take care.